All right. Well, today I figured I would do another trip to Ebuy. This time I'm gonna take my bike, as you can see, and I put my GoPro on my bike. So I uh, guess I'm gonna try to ride out to, um, I'm gonna try out to, to ride out to Gucci Goo or BG, however far I can go. Um, and most of this will probably be with my GoPro, although I'll probably pull my camera out and, uh, you know, do some panoramas and landscape shots for you so you can see what it's like out here in the Marshall Islands. But uh, for the most part, yeah, it's probably going to be like a hyperlapse with my GoPro. So um, let's head on over to the dock and uh, get on over to Ebuy. I'm guessing that it's gonna be really windy and hard to understand what I'm saying. But here we are on Ebuy. This is uh, Marshallese Island that houses 13,000 Marshallese citizens on a quarter square mile island. They do not have running water. They don't have sewage. Um, they have a little hospital, but they don't have the staffing for it. And most of their employment comes from um, the Kwajalein, the, the military installation. So uh, I figured I would um, come out here and walk around, drive and ride my bike around, and then we're gonna head out. Um, we're gonna head out that way towards Gucci Goo. Now, of course, I brought my uh, little single-speed road bike with you know sixty-dollar road tires. So we'll see how it handles these uh, kind of makeshift dirt roads. breaking out the um, selfie stick because I'm going to jump on my bike here but uh, so this is kind of going to be quick here we are kind of riding around um, the center of the town which is really the entire town um, so they, they do have paved roads well we haven't gotten out to the park where there isn't paved roads but uh, you know there's a lot of people just sitting on the streets I'm not sure my GoPro is going to capture that um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to ride the streets with my Nikon and film and hope I don't crash and die or you know, break my camera because that would be worse. So, uh, of course I've got pictures. I'm gonna probably put them up on my website, um, make a, a folder on my website for my pictures that I took over here last weekend, which included a lot of the little kids that like to have their picture taken. But, all right, we're gonna try this. 
I'm, I'm totally on my bike riding through these terrible streets. Um, and I'm sure the wind will be too much for me to really, uh, for me to really talk. Well, I can't say that footage was worth anything. But anyway, now we've gotten down to the second part of our trip, which is the uh, this dirt road that leads all the way to, well, I don't know, Luguchiku, I don't know, BG. I don't really know these island names. But it's a, it's a pretty cruddy dirt road. So it's gonna be a terrible bike ride. And uh, I got some clouds coming in. Usually the rain comes in from this direction because that's the way the wind blows. Well, I guess it's blowing this way. But, I don't see anything that way. I don't think I'm going to get any rain. But, uh, oh, I'm already tired and I've only biked like two miles, three miles. I'm about five miles in to my journey. Um, seems like there's roads on both sides of the ocean and the lagoon, but they're not very good roads. But so far I haven't gotten a flat because that would really suck. And again, it's windy, but uh, I decided to rest and um, I found a pretty cool spot. I mean, now, Kwajalein doesn't really have too many good beaches. Um, like, really all we have is Iman. If you want to lay out in the sand, you actually want to walk on a beach. It's just too rocky. So I figured coming out here, you might find some, some nice beaches. And, uh, well, aside from the school that's over there, I think I found a pretty, pretty nice beach. Now again, we're, we're five miles from Ebi, four miles from Kwajalein. Uh, if I had a boat, I could boat out here, but um, yeah, that's another, that's another ordeal. Anyway, this is my little uh, pit stop. I reached the end and uh, it's not really the end because you can walk across the um, you can walk across the, the reef um, and it's low tide right now so that's perfectly fine but I'm worried that I'm gonna get over there plus I can't really take my bike across the reef so I'm worried I'm gonna get over there and the tides gonna come in I'm gonna get stuck so I backtracked and found myself a nice little secluded area and I set up my hammock and now I have myself a little private area. Now, unfortunately, uh, there's no beach. Um, 
Yeah, there, there's really no beach here. It's it's just rock uh, and, and engine and engines. But I've got nice shade and a nice place to put my hammock. And uh, oh, hey, look! I learned how um, the Marshallese open coconuts. They've got this stick in the rock. Maybe I'll try to pop open a coconut and have a coconut. We'll see. So uh, thank you for. Uh, joining me on my journey to, um, I, I don't really know where I'm at, so here in the Marshall Islands. Until next time.